Hello and welcome to the first in a series of Chrysler CMR dealer startup guide videos. Uh, in this first video we're going to attempt to demonstrate some basic navigation functions of the CMR software. We're going to move quickly uh, in order to keep these videos short and the files small. So um, we'll be making quite a few of these videos but um, don't hesitate to hit the pause button if you or re replay if you want to see what we did since we're moving so quick. Anyhow, first thing look at our startup guide parameters. What we're assuming here is that you have a dealer license. Um, your software has been downloaded and installed. You've powered up and connected to a tuning tool. You have access to a DCX equipped vehicle. Uh, you've extracted a stock tune as well as a, a Diablo Sport canned tune. And uh, you've copied both of these tune files to your PC. Uh, an example that we're using, we're going to go ahead and uh, use a customer's T8 this is a bone stock SRT8. We're going to hit the Chipmaster Revolution icon on our desktop to get the CMR software going. Um, enter your CMR password, which you should have received for salesperson. Um, and what we'll see uh, is a selection menu. We can browse for the file that we're looking for. In this case, I'm going to be looking for the customer's car with the SRT8. Um, I've made the folder pretty descriptive, a 2006 SRT8. In this case, this is the 91 octane tune that I extracted off the, in this case, it was a Trinity. So bring this up. Now, I can select a file that I want to compare it to by clicking on the fixed file. Oops, a daisy there. Okay, and browsing for that. And I have to scroll back up into my tune directory, under my Chrysler tunes, uh, 2006 SRT8, and I'm going to take his original backup. So I'm going to compare this to the original stock tune that I extracted from this car and I'm going to compare it to the 91 octane tune that is currently loaded on the vehicle. So now we have the CMR software opened. We have all the parameters. Uh, you can see this section of the screen is divided into three sections uh, or three tabs. There's a tables tab, a functions tab, and a scalers tab. You'll notice a lot of the folders are similar. Uh, for this demonstration, we're just going to focus on the tables. And um, one of the nice features, there's a lot of icons and buttons at the top of the screen. Not all of them apply to the Chryslers, but um, in this particular case, we have the option to expand all of these folders. So I'm going to go ahead and click the expand button, and it's going to show you. There's quite a few um, parameters that you could modify just under the table section, and this also would apply to functions and to the scalers. We're going to go ahead and expand those. So it's not expanding. Okay, so the expand button doesn't work with the scalers. I forgot about that. Anyhow, back to tables. We'll go ahead and expand them all. Now, what I would like to do is narrow it down just to the parameters that are uniquely modified for the 91 octane tune because right now there is way too much information over here for me. So I'm going to hit this button. It's called the full change parameter view, but basically what I'm using it for is to show me only the changed parameters. So, as you can see, this really cleans up the view quite a bit. We can see just the parameters in the tables section that have been modified in the 91 octane tune. I'm going to go ahead and click on one of these uh, under volumetric, volumetric efficiency. I'm going to take bank one, double click it. There you go. Okay, real quick, uh, anything highlighted in red has a value that's been increased from the factory setting. Anything in blue, it has been decreased from the factory setting. Now, if I wanted to see what the factory setting is, I can hit this FT. Now, this stands for Fixed Tuning File. Now, when we first came into the CMR software, we picked a tuning file, and then I selected a fixed file. So, this, this could be used also to compare two separate tuning files. You don't necessarily have to compare just a factory tune file to a modified tune file. You can actually compare two different modified files. Just remember which one is the fixed file and which one is the tuning file. In this case, the fixed file is the factory that original backup. The original tuning was on an SRT8, a 2006 SRT8. So if I want to see what those values are, their factory values, I click on the FT button, and here you go. These are what the, f the values were from the factory, and if I click on it again, these are what the values are with the enhanced uh, 91 octane tune from Diablo Sport. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks.